Hi and welcome to Movies Suck. Today, I'm having a look at this story from We Got This Covered. Apparently there is a rumour that George Lucas wants to return to Star Wars, but he won't return unless he has full creative control. And if I were Disney, I would be snapping his bloody hand off right now. What, you want to return, do everything for us and fix all the shit we messed up? Wow, thank you George, thank you so much. Please forgive us for destroying your legacy. That's kind of what Disney should be saying, but this is Disney, so let's read a little bit further. It's no secret that George Lucas hasn't always been the biggest fan of what Disney's done with their Star Wars sequel trilogy. In fact, the studio's been pretty open about the fact that the filmmaker was vocally opposed to their approach to the beloved sci-fi franchise. That's putting it mildly. Let's read a bit further, because they explain slightly, other than the fact he called Disney white slavers and things like that, but hell. In his book, The Ride of a Lifetime, Lessons Learned from 15 Years as CEO of the Walt Disney Company, for instance, Bob Iger explained that Lucas felt there weren't enough visual or technical leaps forward in J.J. Abrams' The Force Awakens. Not only that, but Lucas was notably absent from the premiere of The Rise of Skywalker. And while you can certainly understand why he's taken issue with some of the recent movies, it seems both parties are hoping to soon get back into bed together. Yeah, well, about the weren't enough visual or technical leaps forward in The Force Awakens, The Force Awakens was just a rehash, wasn't it? They didn't bother to do anything original, new, or brilliant. They just basically wanted to try and keep the Star Wars fans coming back so that they could... Well, sell us the shit that they sold us. And let's face it, The Force Awakens was an absolute abysmal movie. It was unbelievably bad. Within 20 or 30 minutes, you could tell this was modern Disney. Throwing feminism in our faces and... I found The Force Awakens a depressing watch after all the excitement of the build-up to it. It was massively, massively let down. And... George Lucas wasn't at the Skywalker, the Rise of Skywalker premiere, which was strange, wasn't it? The question was, did Disney not invite George Lucas to the premiere, or did George Lucas refuse to go because he didn't want to be associated with it? I don't know what the truth is there. I mean, you can kind of see Disney not inviting him because of, obviously, his disapproving nature obviously because he disapproved of what Disney was doing, but you can also kind of see George Lucas not wanting to go because he doesn't want to associate himself with the failure that was the Disney Star Wars trilogy. And you can see why he wants to come back, because it's his baby. This is Star Wars. Star Wars, George Lucas. Almost the same thought. You can't have one without the other. They don't exist without each other. So you can see why he would want to come back and try and fix what Disney has destroyed. Even though Disney probably doesn't think of themselves as having destroyed Star Wars, they think, well, why don't they love it? We put so much effort into it. Why can't they love it? Because you're fucking useless. We can't love it, Disney, because you destroyed everything that was great about it. Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, the relationship between Leia, Han, ah, oh, legacy of Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader. I mean, Come on, Disney! Ah, I get myself all worked up. Anyway, a few weeks ago we told you that Lucasfilm wants George to return and help out with the franchise in a more official capacity, following his assistance with the aforementioned Rise of Skywalker, which was done more as a favour to JJ than anything else, and while it's still unclear if it'll happen, we've now received another update on the situation which points to Lucas being down to return, but on one condition. I'm surprised he wanted to return to help out JJ. I mean, really? After that meeting where they all sat down together and George gave them the notes on his sequels and how he thought the whole thing should carry on, and they picked them up and went, Yeah, this is nice, George and all. We'll buy it, just so that no one else can use it anywhere, but we're going to put this in the bin. Sorry about that, George. And he was involved in all that. So I'm surprised he wanted to return as a favour to JJ. According to sources close to We Got This Covered, Lucas has said that he'll return, but only if he has full creative control over the franchise. From what we're told, he thinks the studio has made a mess of it, 
and he feels he needs a great amount of control to get it all back on track. And how can anyone deny this? If George Lucas was back, maybe, just maybe, this thing could be fixed. Without him, I really don't see Disney managing to get this all sorted out. I really don't. But not only that, but he wants to bring along Dave Filoni, responsible for the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. Nothing wrong with that, Dave Filoni's done a pretty good job so far, and actually seems to like Star Wars. With him to help turn things around. With the idea being to have the fan favourite act as George's right hand man. That all being said, our sources, who also revealed the big Palpatine twist in Rise of Skywalker, say that there's some resistance from Disney in regards to George's proposal, and understandably so. After all, Kathleen Kennedy is still the boss over at Lucasfilm. Ah, How is that bloody possible that she could still be there? How is she not out on her ear? Unbelievable. She's obviously woke enough for Disney. And while they would love to have Lucas involved again, they want him more as an advisor consultant. It'd be an official role, and he'd be very involved in future projects, but they're not willing to give full creative control at this time, and that's where things stand for now. If we had to guess, George Lucas will eventually make his way back to Star Wars, but in what capacity remains to be seen. With Kennedy very likely on her way out, and Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige also said to be interested in taking over the sci-fi property, you can expect some major changes from the brand over the next few years. Yep, you probably can expect some major changes while they try and backtrack over all the crap they did with the sequel trilogy. Or, as is more likely with Disney, they're going to double down on the bloody travesty they have created and just basically ignore us. That's what they'll do. They'll just ignore us, ignore what they did to the whole legacy of Anakin, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker. It, they'll ignore all this and just push along with some new stuff, probably taken from the expanded universe, which they royally fucked up by taking this, taking that, trying to shove it all together. Say, yeah, if we shake it hard enough, perhaps the bits will just slot together on their own. Isn't that how puzzles work? Bloody Disney. Anyway. Just thought I'd let you guys know about this because I thought it was interesting to have George Lucas back at the reins of Star Wars. I mean, he's not always done the best of Star Wars. We all remember the prequel trilogy, but he cannot do any worse than Disney. Because Disney have really, really screwed everything up to a degree that's almost hard to even comprehend. So, let's hope George comes back. And let's hope they just forget about the sequel trilogy and let's start that over again. It's a shame Leia's gone, but I'm sure they can do something about the loss of Carrie Fisher, even if it's just to recreate her digitally. Who knows? But one thing's for sure, George Lucas would be a massive, massive plus to have back on Star Wars, because what we want is to distance ourselves from the Disney era of Star Wars. Let's get back to real Star Wars. This has been Movie Sucks End. Please fire Kathleen Kennedy, Disney. Do what you should have done a long time ago, and stop Stop messing with Star Wars. Leave a like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.